Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, it's a lot of fun. I got tagged in a really cool art YouTube trend. I don't know what you call it. I think you do just call it a tag. So stick around and we'll unbox this and I'll tell you all about it. I was tagged by Miranda Watson over at Alkali Creek Art on YouTube in this art box takeover trend. This was started by my dear sweet friend, Jude, over at Jude's Jude and Her Pencil. Okay, and I'm gonna try real hard not to like mess this box up because I'm gonna reuse this. So Jude's, Jude and Her Pencil, <laughs> who used to be Jude's art desk, and can I just, <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> this is the most, this is the most well-packaged thing. Like, I don't actually know what I'm going to do to keep this intact because there's so much tape on this, but we'll see. She started this idea. She sent two boxes out to two different art YouTubers. She sent this actual physical box, but filled with different things, to Jake over at Doomsayer. And then he sent it to Miranda Watson, and she sent it to me. So this is the first box. The second box went to Jenna Gets Creative. I loved her video. I did, And obviously I loved Jake's video and Miranda's video, because I'm excited about my box, but I also watched the other box video, which was at Jenna Gets Creative. And she sent hers to Dark Star Creations. And I haven't seen the Dark Star Creations video yet. I don't know if it's up yet. So let's see. Is there... Oh, okay. So I think what I have to do to open this, I'm like, I don't want to mess this up because I really think it is so cool that Jude did this. She did a similar thing on the other package that went to Jenna. It was a different size package and had very different things in it. But let me explain. So the idea is that art YouTubers create an art subscription box, much like Scrawler Box or... Um, art snacks, but we create it for each other, knowing each other's videos and knowing what each other are like. And I already know who I'm going to send the next box to. I'm going to send it to Willow Rose Arlen. Everyone I mentioned in this video is linked below. Everyone I mentioned in this video makes amazing videos. I'm actually personally a huge fan of Miranda's, the one who sent this to me. So let's see what Miranda sent me. I literally watch every single one of her videos since I found her. Oh my God, look what she did. <laughs> okay, Miranda, <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so first things first, apparently she like left me little sticky notes. I hope this is okay that I'm showing this. She left me little sticky notes on everything. So let's see, first is the traveling sketchbook. Jake over at Doomsayer added this and he did the cover because Jude sent him this plain black sketchbook. He did this on the cover and said, let's make this the fellowship of the traveling sketchbook. Let me make sure this is in frame. Oh, it's so cool. So I've seen this on his channel. I saw it on Miranda's. This was his, this is so cool. Can I just tell you in person? Obviously I saw it on Miranda's channel and on his channel, but it is so cool in person. To all the artists who get this sketchbook, the idea is we're going to fill the whole thing before it goes back. When this book is done, please contact Doomsayer Designs and return it to him. And he gives his ads and everything. So he started, he added this concept. So he did this page. And then my girl, Miranda, did this page. Look how cool it is. And she said, I hope everyone who gets this after me just continues this trend of doing self-portraits. So even though you guys don't know what I look like and you have not had a face reveal other than one self-portrait I did and showed in one of my 24 sketchbook tours, <laughs> I'm going to do a self-portrait today. And I already have, I know exactly what I'm going to do. So that's the first thing. It's kind of like a challenge within a challenge because the art box takeover is the actual challenge, but Jake added this piece that we're going to use the art materials to make a self-portrait. So Love that. And here's what she said. I can't wait to see what you add to this sketchbook. Happy sketching. Hashtag traveling sketchbook. So this has a hashtag traveling sketchbook hashtag. So I'm going to use that for this. Let's see what else. Okay. Can I just say, have you ever seen a scrawler box or 
on Art Snacks that is this intense. Like, she sent me so many things. Okay, so she said, these are the supplies that were sent to her. You don't have to use these in your challenge, but you can if you want. Feel free to keep whatever you like and pass on the rest to the next person. So I think that what happened is um, Jenna gets creative in her art box video with the second art box. She laid out a, like a more specific vision for what this would be than Jake did. I think Jake was sort of just overwhelmed that he got sent something cool by a subscriber. <laughs> Whereas Jenna seemed like she was more in the loop on how the challenge worked. So in our box what Jake sent to Miranda, I don't know that it had real specific instructions for her since talking to her via email. I've watched the other videos from the other box. So my sense is the idea was to create like a curated set and that's what I'm going to do. So I can send on, you know, anything just as extras and I will to Willow in case she wants anything that I'm not going to keep. But I'm also going to do like a very specific curated set for her and that's what's going to be in the box I said. So let's see what's in here. So this is the stuff that came to Miranda from prior boxes that she either already had or wasn't like her thing so she's not going to keep. She's so sweet. Guys, can I just tell you if you haven't subscribed to her, can you please? Because Jude is amazing. I'm a huge fan of Jude and always had has have been. Oh, so she sent me a Proke Marker watercolor in Burnt Umber, Windsor & Newton Pro Marker. I've actually been really interested in these and always wanted to know what they were, like how they really worked. So it looks like it has a bullet nib. I hope this is, yeah, in frame. I'm just like going to town and having fun and not paying attention like I should. <laughs> and a brush nib. Awesome. So I love Tombos and this has the bullet nib and the brush nib that a Tombow has, but it's a watercolor marker. Very excited to use that. So I'm definitely going to use that. This is, oh my gosh, an acrylograph. Oh my gosh, it's a brand new acrylograph from Archer and I'll, okay. <laughs> this is a brand, okay, I'm standing up for this. This is a brand new acrylograph from Archer and Olive. It is a really cool bullet journaling brand. They make gorgeous um, dot journals, grid journals, and things like that for bullet journalers. But this is an acrylograph. It is a paint pen. I believe it's an acrylic paint pen. This one is a 0.7 millimeter. Let's just, I'm opening it. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Cannot wait to like swatch all of this stuff. Oh my God. Okay. I'm not going to obviously use everything because Miranda went so to town and sent me so much stuff, but I'm definitely using this. I'm definitely using this. I've wondered about these forever. Super excited about those. Ooh, how cool is this? Okay. So this is, obviously I can't read this, but I'm assuming that this is an inking pen. Yep. Brush tip, probably a bullet. More like a fine than a bullet. Definitely gonna test this out. Let's see if it's water soluble or not, but that is like a cool looking pen. Super excited about that. King Art Inkline Pen, three millimeter. Oh, that's cool. Look, you can like, it has like a little window. You can say hello. It looks like it's a really pretty brown and it is a chisel. So this might go really well so far with this palette because this looks navy to me. Navy, a burnt umber, and more of a light, um, like a raw umber. We'll see. I don't know if that's really a raw umber, but we'll see. Okay, and then I've got a couple things. <laughs> Princeton Heritage Round Brush in a size 6. Very cool. I love Princeton. And this is a Mitsubishi HB Pencil. Actually, so I don't know if you watch um, Doodle Date, but Ad Adamo, Adam over at Doodle Date, is a, I think he's a big fan or used to be of these Mitsubishi pencils and I've never tried one. It is a very like huge, maybe that's just because my sketching pencils I've been using are getting down to like so small at this point. <laughs> okay, so I've got a pencil to sketch with. I've got a paintbrush to paint with. Let's, it just looks like your typical size six round. I have a lot of Princeton brushes, so that might be one I send on because... I and then there's this Goldline Studio Pad, Watercolor Studio Pad, 200 GSM cold pressed paper. Ooh, and that has some nice looking paper. So maybe this will be what I swatch on. Okay, so swatching paper, initial set of things to swatch. And then let's see what else she got me. Okay, let's keep going with this never ending box of deliciousness that Miranda sent me. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm still feeling that like 
intense excitement. And by the way, on the back side of this has all of our addresses, so I might be adding some serious washi tape to this box <laughs> before I send it on. Okay, this one says, these are all the supplies I'm challenging you to use. So I'm not even challenged to use these, but I do want to just test them out for you and see if I want to include them. This is my Art Snacks scrawler box, except it's the Art Box Takeover, hashtag Art Box Takeover art subscription box for YouTube artists by YouTube artists. So that's what this is. And this is from Miranda this time. Hashtag art box takeover. These are all the supplies I'm challenging you to use today. Can we take a moment to appreciate her handwriting? Like this is not how I don't, <laughs> I cannot match this handwriting. And I'm a little nervous because I see the word sorry here. <laughs> Miranda, what did you do? Sorry, <laughs> the smiley face, I can already tell. I can just see her like evil smile. <laughs> Writing that. Like her innocent, sweet, evil smile. You know what I mean. Feel free, okay, feel free to add in the ones from Jake's box in the other Ziploc, so that's these. Keep what you want and pass on what you don't, plus any new supplies you want to challenge the next person to use. Love it. Okay, very cool. So I'm going to just do this so that you can see. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> She's hilarious. Okay, love this washi tape. Sorry to break it. Is anyone else like that with like presents? Like you don't want to ruin the wrapping paper? I'm gonna take this out first. All right, bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, she said, this is the new bested watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton, but not sized. Should be fun or could be fun. That's funny. Could be. <laughs> It does feel really different. I've never heard of this watercolor paper. It definitely has a nice texture. But it does, it feels um, so much more papery than watercolor paper. I know that probably sounds crazy, but my artist stands out there. You know what I'm saying. It feels more like it's thick. It's very thick, but it feels like it's going to struggle to be wet. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like pulpy. That's the word. It, like pulpy. Like it's going to be like water. Ah! So we'll see that. I mean, that, it's not size. So that's kind of the whole deal. Okay. So that's intimidating. Then let's see what else I see. Okay. The first thing I want to grab is this because I love aquash pigment filled uh, ink brushes. Another one. See, she says, I love these. So I actually make my own. I just fill them with black ink. Like, and I've never had the fancy like made for you one. They're very excited. I'm very, very, very excited for this Pentel Plus. When you use it up, you clean it out, you have a new, another travel water brush. Super excited about that. Maybe, no, I'm not. I was going to say maybe I should put the things I'm challenged to use in a different pile, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. And I see Karen Dash Neo Color 1. Good luck! <laughs> I feel like... Okay, Miranda, let me give you, let me clue you in. You can either like prank me and just enjoy the like naughty spirit of it, or you can be this sweet. I don't know that they're, that they match. These energies don't match. <laughs> the like I'm being punked energy doesn't match the you're the sweetest lady ever energy. Oh no, oh no. The pink. Oh, I see they're neon. Oh honey, they're neon, that's why. Good luck. Okay, well, yeah, I need it now. I definitely need the good luck with neon. <laughs> but actually, can I just tell you, I'm super excited. My channel's creating cute art, and these are screaming cuteness. Like, I actually feel like these will be really cool in the self-portrait sketchbook. I'm actually very excited about these. I'm sorry about that. Don't read into it that one of them broke. That's just something that happens in shipping. You see how much stuff I was sent? Something was bound to... <laughs> have an issue in shipping when I'm getting that much stuff. But I'm actually very excited for that. Nice try. Nice try, Miranda. Trying to punk me. I'm actually very excited. The sorry not sorry is still intimidating me. <laughs> Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. With our sorry not sorry. With a winky face. I have to tell you how much I love this woman. I actually fell asleep to one of her, re-watching one of her videos last night. Miranda. She teaches art in a college in Colorado, and I live in Colorado too, so I feel like we're gonna be in-person friends one day, I just know it. Art spray, oh! I have no idea how to use these. 
<laughs> okay, but that is so cool. That actually makes for such a cool challenge that I have no clue how to make, how to like use these. These will be awesome to test on this, I don't know how to use it, paper too. Like that'll be really fun to try these on the, the paper. So let's see, it looks like they're, there's like a really pretty lavendery purple, a really pretty like phthalo cyan blue. And I bet this is black. So let's look at the actual names. I just wanted to look at the colors, but this says art spray, acrylic spray. So it's permanent waterproof. How cool for a background. Oh, I kind of am excited to use that for a background and then like add in some of this hotness, you know, maybe the pink or the, the orange. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Um, and this will be a permanent background that I can then draw over or paint over or marker over or whatever. So I'm excited to try them, but like I'm not a um, an abstract artist. I, I rarely do abstract art. And so I feel like that's more what these are for, but who knows? I've literally never used them, never seen a video on them. This will be a super fun challenge. That is a challenge. And then she says, in case the new bested watercolor paper doesn't work out. So she, she knows why I'm nervous that I'm feeling this and I'm like, this feels different. <laughs> Canvas textured boards, five by seven. Canvas textured, textured surface on a rigid board. Great with acrylic, gouache, oil pastels, mixed media. That's my jam. Easy portability, perfect for plein air. How cool. Okay, I'm real excited for that. And it's brand new. She hooked me up. Let's see. Let's see what they feel like. Oh my gosh, there's so this is like so nice. Okay, so ooh, yeah, it feels like really nice canvas tight to a cardboard board. So like the best of every world, the best of like a canvas without taking up a ton of room. Um like a watercolor block where it's not going to curl. This is very cool. I'm very excited to use that. I'm going to be trying stuff on so many surfaces. I guess that's kind of cool that you'll be able to see how things work on different surfaces but I don't want to waste one of these on like um swatching so I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna figure out how these work but without swatching I might have to just like dive right in oh my gosh okay and then <laughs> Miranda you're so nice like I can't even tell you how many this is so many things I don't fully enjoy stencils, but I just know you'll do something amazing with them. I do like stencils and I rarely use them. Let's see what these look like. So, oh, how cool. So what I really, I love those roses. I love these flowers. I love the little, oh my gosh. Okay, these are all really cool. I love the feathers. I love the borders. Okay, this is very, very, I love these little like floating away <laughs> flowers. Use mixed media. Oh! Oh my gosh! Uh, hello! That's probably what I'll use these for. I'll sp Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, 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 ah, I'm so excited! Okay, I finally have a plan. My plan is beginning to formulate. Thank you so much! This is now making perfect sense, like the curated nature of this that she did is making a lot of sense to me. So, okay, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off live talking and reacting and go onto voiceover mode so I can speed up the swatching and stuff. Um, so thank you so much for hanging for the unboxing. I hope everything was in frame because I was too excited to keep checking. <laughs> and I'll be back. I decided to swatch on both the watercolor paper that was provided uh, in the pad as well as the loose paper that was the bested paper. The HB pencil was a really nice pencil. HB is right in the middle, so it worked beautifully and I did end up using it in the final piece. The King Art was really pretty. It did not uh, really move around in water at all, so that was good to know, but I didn't end up using it in the piece. And then the Acrylograph, which I was so excited to use, honestly came in so clutch for the piece. I love it so much. So I think I'm probably going to be getting some more Acrylograph colors in my future. I'm just not in a rush because I have a lot of paint pens right now. The black marker was very reminiscent of a Tombow and it was water soluble, but I didn't end up using it because I had the Aquash Pentel brush pen with the real ink inside and I was obsessed with that one that was it needed to be used I did love the Windsor and Newton Marker it reminded me of some other watercolor markers. I've used so it wasn't really markedly different from those 
the neo color ones the neon neo color ones i had to give you a bunch of different angles to show you they are truly neon they are so bright and one thing that i did was after i used them here i did spray over them with the acrylic ink just to see the spray acrylic to see if it would show through as part of my plan for the actual piece. And I did end up using that concept in the piece. Yeah, this pen is amazing. If you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video. And if you wanna leave me a comment telling me what you think you would do with these materials, I would love to hear your thoughts on what you would have done with them. I really loved this set of materials and I actually really liked how limited the palette was. It helped me, especially the palette that Miranda actually sent me, including these stencils. So the stencils are on recycled sort of feeling paper, very thin paper. And so they didn't love in the end being sprayed with a wet medium. <laughs> I think that they would have done better with something a little bit more controlled than something as wet as this. Like look how wet this is because it's so fluid. And at a certain point during the actual painting process, I went in with a paintbrush to try to paint into the shapes and that worked a little bit better. But this was certainly a lot of fun. I really enjoyed spraying them and I noticed in the swatching session here that it would have done me better to tape them down and have them a little tighter to the paper. But see how the colors of those neon crayons really show through even where they got sprayed? So here we go, I'm diving in with a piece and I'm doing the piece on that canvas board. I went ahead and sprayed with water before spraying the colors because I wanted it to come out a little bit lighter and that did work. So spraying water first definitely diluted the colors and gave me a little bit of a muted background that I could then deepen up as I wanted to. I also put down my ginormous drawing board because see how pretty that came out? I really liked that. I wish I'd left sort of some of that light light coming through, but I didn't. I deepened everything up a lot more. <laughs> um, but when I did spray this the very first time during the swatching session, it stained my desk. And my desk has put up with so much abuse and never got stained. I've used acrylics all over this desk. I've used Posca pens that I've shaken and it exploded everywhere. Everything wipes off of this desk except for these sprays. These sprays would not come off of my desk. So the one thing I'll tell you is if you do feel interested in them and you wanna try them, just start with something laid down, start with a drawing board so you don't get in trouble. So I did this basic light background, which is what my plan had been. I really wanted to use the sprays and the stencils for a background and then draw a cute animal on top. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm using the acrylograph right here because it is acrylic paint and it went beautifully over the top of the acrylic sprays. You can probably see here where I used the HB pencil for the actual outline of the bunny and then I just went right in with the acrylograph and my plan was to use this acrylograph for the darkest darks along with the aquash ink brush right there which I did do and then to use the crayon to just make things pop and make things stand out. Um, so my thought process here was I liked the idea of the background coming through the bunny. I thought that would be a cool effect. I didn't necessarily care uh, I didn't want to reserve the bunny to be a different color than the background. I wanted it to be a very cohesive color palette and it did work out that way. So I really enjoyed that. You'll see I used a bunch of different techniques with these inks trying to get more or less saturated colors and I ended up just taking the spray caps off and going in with a paintbrush. It did stain the ferrule of my paintbrush. I used one of my cheaper ones. It wasn't a big deal or anything. I don't care. I don't mind if my paintbrushes look used, but if I had used my fancy like Chelsea Paper Co. Um, fake squirrel acrylic. Um, I can't remember what that's called when it's fake. I know there's a prettier word than fake, but you know what I mean. Imitation. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if I'd used one of those where the ferrule is like absolutely stunning and one of the big reasons I bought those brushes, I would have been so sad. So another warning about these inks, they will stain anything. I've never seen an art material that stains quite that much. So just bear that in mind. And they dry really quickly when you lay them down. They dry on the brush bristles really quickly. So they're very challenging to work with, but I love the result. Um, I did decide, because this video was gonna be already almost half an hour, I decided to save the portrait traveling sketchbook, hashtag traveling sketchbook, for a second video. And I also decided I really wanted the opportunity to get some of our overseas friends involved. And I think that the idea of sending 
an art box might be a little much right now so we're still sending the art box around to the american youtubers right now but i wanted i didn't want the european and like basically international youtube community to have to wait so long to be able to play with this so i'm going to send the traveling sketchbook to a different art youtuber than i am sending the actual art box takeover the art box takeover is going to willow rose arlen but the traveling sketchbook is going to going to go to a YouTuber in Europe or the UK. We'll see. But it's just a totally different challenge, and I think a sketchbook could make it more easily internationally, and maybe we can encourage more people to participate by doing that. So one other thing that I wanted to make sure to mention in this video is that I got a comment from a subscriber that the way that they use up their art supplies, because I'm always doing this challenge, actually Miranda Watson also does a challenge to use up art supplies, but on one of my, hey, how to use up your art supplies, <laughs> you know, videos, I got a really cool comment that this subscriber makes her own subscription boxes. She makes her own curated sets of materials to use in her sketchbook. And it helps her revive her interest in the supplies she already has. And that's kind of what this challenge is, but with each other on YouTube. So I just wanted to make sure to mention that because it's a very on brand. And I actually saw on Jenna Gets Creative on her channel, she actually does that. I think she calls it the no art box art box or something. So I thought that was really cool that right as a subscriber makes that suggestion and I'm doing the art box takeover, and I just discovered Jenna Gets Creative's channel, that's one of the videos that she had just put up. And it was a very good video too. It was very inspiring. So I think that's such a cool idea. Definitely go check out Jenna Gets Creative's videos about that, the no art box, art box. <laughs> I loved this bunny. My only problem with the bunny is that that's supposed to be two front paws and a little bit of chest showing, but I think it also could look like two front paws and a little of the back paw. Leave me a comment telling me which you see. Did you see two front paws and a little fuzzy chest or did you see three paws showing in the front? I really loved this challenge so much. Thank you so much, Jude and her pencil, for starting this and thinking of this cool challenge. Thank you so much, Miranda, for sending me this awesome package. It was so funny and it was so much fun to do. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, leave a like, leave me a comment, and until next time, remember, create something cute.